chapter 1, section 4 is about graphing motion, looking at distance, velocity, and acceleration. Learning target number 1 in section 4 is I can use words and diagrams to represent acceleration. The first physics word that you come to is the word acceleration. Acceleration in physics means any change in velocity, either a change in the speed or a change in the direction. Examples of acceleration are speeding up if something goes faster or slowing down something gets slower or changing directions. All of those are examples of types of acceleration. On page 60 of the reading, it talks about using motion maps or strobe pictures to represent acceleration. Remember from section 3, when we talked about motion maps or strobe photos, it shows the motion of an object in a picture or diagram. The diagram will show both the speed the object is traveling and the direction that the object is traveling. The motion map of a car traveling toward the right, moving at a constant velocity, would look like this. Remember that a motion map shows where an object is at each moment in time. In this situation, a car started at the zero position at zero seconds, and it moved to the right for three seconds. When we talk about objects accelerating, we need to think about what the motion map would look like if an object is doing something like speeding up. If an object is speeding up, the space between that object is going to be getting bigger every second. So in a motion map, we need to show that. In this case, the motion map would have dots that are getting further and further apart every second. The blue arrows show the amount of velocity, how much the velocity is changing. The long arrow shows the positive direction. So we can see that this object is speeding up as it's moving in the positive direction. This is a more complicated motion map. It shows an object doing different things. Interpret this motion map and explain what this object is doing. Answer that in your binder. First, the object is moving at a constant velocity in the positive direction. Next, the object slows down in the positive direction. Then the object stands still for two seconds. Finally, the object speeds up in the negative direction. Remember, the spacing between the dots shows you information about the velocity. And as the spacing gets less, it means an object is slowing down. As the spacing increases, it means an object is speeding up. And when we have dots that are piled on top of one another, such as here, that means an object is standing still. The position is not changing. The object is staying in the same place. Here are a few hints to remember as you are drawing your own motion maps. Keep these hints in mind as you are doing your practice work, especially when it comes to acceleration. Now make sure you do some practice and let me know what questions you might have. Thanks!